Pods.com published an article earlier this year discussing the most affordable small towns in North Georgia. The problem is they missed the mark. Over the last couple of years, we have seen flocks of people coming to Georgia and for numerous reasons, really. Georgia has an amazing job market. We've got four seasons that are absolutely stunning, but more importantly, it's the affordability factor. Home prices have risen astronomically the past few years across the US, but Georgia has continued to be a state that has many more affordable options. So hit that subscribe button and stick with me till the end because I know I said I was only gonna do five affordable towns, but I just couldn't help but throw in number six. We'll just call it a bonus town. I'm Ashley Lazarian and I live right here in the suburbs of North Georgia, helping people like you relocate to North Georgia for the last 18 years. There are quite a few towns that I would say are great options to live in here in Georgia. However, this video today is gonna to be solely focused on homes that are under $500,000 or perhaps you're looking for an acre of land or more, and we're gonna show you some of the top towns that you can find affordable options in. The first town I definitely think you should consider is Canton. Canton sits just above Woodstock, and when it comes to pricing, it is refreshingly affordable here. Housing options are gonna come from cozy cottages to spacious homes, all without breaking the bank. New construction options are popping up all over Canton with 277 homes currently on the market. You're gonna notice throughout the video that this is one of the areas that has a lot more opportunities. 93 of those listings are new construction. Of course, there is a wide range of pricing when it comes to new construction. We have some going well over a million dollars, but thankfully, there's some really affordable options. There's even some new communities here with homes starting just over $400,000. Canton has a lot to offer. There's all of your modern conveniences, there's grocery stores, a Publix, a Kroger, and like I mentioned before, you're just about 15 minutes north of Woodstock, so it is incredibly easy to drive down for an evening, spend time at one of the breweries. But one of my favorite things, if I have to be honest about Canton, is the views. The views of the mountains here are like none other. And that's actually the case in our next town, Dahlonega. We're gonna head east from Canton to the foothills of the North Georgia mountains to the beautiful setting of Dahlonega. It's like something out of a storybook, the historic storefronts, cobblestone streets, and the true town square. You might actually recognize some of the storefronts and historic homes, as many films have been filmed right here in the downtown square. When I said it was out of a storybook, I wasn't kidding. Every weekend there's the local farmer's market where you can come and get fresh produce from a lot of the local farmers. Plus, there is no shortage of homes with beautiful character here. Dahlonega is actually dated back to the gold rush days, but what they're really well known for is being wine country of Georgia. If you're looking at homes here in Dahlonega, I guarantee you it wasn't just the affordability that brought you here. It's got to do with these views. Currently, there are only 68 homes on the market here in Dahlonega, ranging from $124,000 to well over $4 million. Now compared to Canton, that's a lot less inventory on the market. But take a look at what you can get for just under $500,000. Heading a little bit further east on the other side of Highway 85, this is actually one of the locations that a lot of people that live more in the urban suburban areas have been transplanting to, and it's the city of Jefferson. It's the calmer pace of life, the quietness, not to mention the location that's really driving people to make the move to Jefferson. But keep in mind, Georgia DOT has been widening Highway 85 for what feels like an eternity, so traffic can be an issue. Jefferson's also just south of Commerce, which is great because they have a fantastic outlet mall there. And then you're just about 15 minutes from Athens, so if you wanna catch a UGA game, go out to dinner after, do a little bit of shopping, it's really convenient. Right down the street, you have a Kroger and a Publix. They recently just added an Aldi, so the only thing I feel like we're missing is a Target, which feels like it should be a crime. However, I guess that's how you keep small towns being small towns. There's some really great options here in Jefferson, especially if you're looking to be out of an HOA, maybe get a little bit of acreage. Now, if you're wanting to be in an HOA, but still have a little bit of land, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the neighborhood of Story Meadows. 
I had a couple of clients recently move into this neighborhood and I really like it because the aesthetics of the home are very pretty. You do have neighbors that are close by, so if you have kids, wanna be able to have that picture-perfect childhood running around, yet you still want a little bit of space between you and your neighbor. The homes here have about 0.75 of an acre on all of them, so you have a little bit of space between your neighbors. If amenities is more your speed, then I would definitely tell you to check out Traditions of Brazelton. Yes, Traditions of Brazelton is actually located in Jefferson. This is a larger community that has fantastic amenities. One of the driving factors that is bringing people to the Jefferson area is the schools. Jefferson City Schools are rated extremely highly. It's more city run than county run, so there's a lot more parent involvement and they have a little bit more say of what goes on within the schools. Next up, we're heading over to Houston. Houston actually spreads through three different counties. You've got Gwinnett, Hall, and Jackson. Houston is so intertwined with areas of Brazelton that sometimes it can be hard to figure out what town am I really in right now? Houston doesn't really have its own downtown, which is great that it's so intertwined with Brazelton because then you're able to take advantage of Brazelton's downtown, which has a couple of amazing restaurants like the Galloping Galette or the Cotton Calf. Now, Houston is a little bit more built up in specific areas. It does have all of your modern conveniences, Publix, Kroger, and the areas that are closer to Brazelton are definitely a little bit more hustle and bustle. But as you drive further away from Highway 85, that's where Houston tends to get a little bit more rural and you're gonna have more affordable options or land opportunities. Houston is also home to a very popular 55 plus community called Twin Lakes. Now I have to say that if they would let me move in there tomorrow, I probably would. They have really utilized every square foot when it comes to these houses and the inside is decorated to the hills. This next town has seen a lot more renovation lately as they grow and expand the downtown area. There's a lot more new construction opportunities here. Most of them are going to be outside of a neighborhood in HOA, which that might be right up your alley. And if so, welcome to Monroe. Monroe is a small town that's located in Walton County. And I have to say they've done a fantastic job of protecting that small town vibe. Now don't get it twisted. Monroe has all of your modern conveniences, probably more so than a lot of the other towns that we've talked about today. There's all sorts of grocery stores. There's even a couple of car dealerships. However, you can still get a piece of property for quite an affordable price, especially compared to some of the surrounding cities. Now I know I said I was only gonna share five towns, but I really felt like this next town needed to make the list. The little town of Auburn sits in Barrow County and for the longest time has been just a little rural town. However, the downtown area is going through a major renovation to bring things up to date. They're adding shops and restaurants and there's a new construction community going in just down the street from downtown that has some very unique housing options. And would you believe? they're affordable. You'll also find some great land opportunities here in Auburn. From the charming town squares to the warm communities and affordability, honestly, any one of the communities we talked about today would be a fantastic place to put down roots. Now, keep in mind in this video, we are specifically talking about homes under $500,000, and maybe you're getting a little bit of land outside of an HOA in an area that is still relatively close to the city for commuting. If you're looking for something that's maybe a homestead or a little bit more acreage, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we've got some videos coming out for that specifically. Reach out to me today to discuss any of the towns that we talked about today. My team and I would love to be a resource for any of your real estate needs. You can reach me at ashley at myhaventeam.com. Until then, I'll see you next week.